Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Plan to Recap. For those unfamiliar, this show is about me looking at your comments from the past week and reacting to them. Before we begin, a little announcement, a little warning. I might have the next episode delayed a bit because this weekend I'm just not feeling better and I think you can tell it from my voice, it's still nasally. I'm still down with hay fever and, and I was feeling weak for a few days. And due to some commitments over the weekend, I find myself not having the time or the energy to edit my stuff yet. So for the next episode, Let's Plant might be coming out one day later. It mainly depends on whether I get to finish filming today and editing this recap just in time. So if it doesn't appear in the usual time, then expect it to be a day later instead. Now on to the comments. We're looking at episode 87. This is about the sw succulent swap meet. And let's have a look at the pinned comment first, which of course is mine. So the pinned comment was, by the way, anyone notice a new intro? <laughs> and I've got a few responses to it. First one is from Maria Puentes. Service Capades, love your videos. Helpful, what is the name of the two plant you show that looks like a paddle plant? If you're talking about. Let me just go grab it. So, if you're talking about this one, this is the Cotyledon macranta, and this is a green version of the uh, silver pig's ear that I use around my garden. So, yep, Cotyledon macranta. As you can see, I still have some of my swapped plants here. I haven't potted them up yet because, again, I wasn't feeling, uh, I was feeling under the weather. So maybe next time. <laughs> next reply was from Claudia Morel Ruiz. I did! Love it! Good to see the new baby. Let's have a look at the rest of the comments. So here we have something from John Sheffield. I finally found some groups nearby, so hopefully I will let you know. Wow, that's so exciting, John. I really hope you get to organize a swap meet. Let me know. From in him, sex, from in him, Sapta Seven, also known as Jeff. Eight thirty, Krasula Ovata, or maybe that's too obvious, and it's really something else. I don't want insult, insult your intelligence, Jeff. So if we skip to this timestamp, then uh, Jeff is referring to. Let me go grab the plant. So Jeff is talking about this plant, and I haven't seen it yet. This is my first time seeing it. And according to other viewers, thank you so much for identifying this for me. This is a Sedum dendroidium. I haven't looked it up yet, but I trust you guys because there's a lot of you telling me the same thing. So let's go with that name. From Lindsay Bringans. Yep, I noticed the new intro. Very cool, Chuck. Nice to start off season two. I wish I could have been there with that selection of plants and of course meeting people with the same passion. Zach looked like he was having lots of fun. Lindsay. Yeah, succulent swap meets are the best. <laughs> Next is from Sandy Redden. I miss one swap and are so disappointed. Yeah, Sandy is also another member of the Succulent Swap Melbourne group. And I haven't met Sandy yet before, so maybe we'll meet in one of the future swaps. I don't know. From Vince Vince, awesome finds. The Eonium is my favorite. Thanks for sharing since we don't have lots of these events over in Germany. It's nice to see succulent enthusiasts unite. Hey. You're saying that there's no such event in Germany yet? You could start, man. You could definitely start. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have your own succulent groups online, which are based in Germany. So maybe you could just uh, spark, spark some interest by mentioning something like this, or maybe even showing them this video. Just get people familiar with the idea of a swap meet, and maybe you know, maybe things will fall into place after that. So mm, go for it. From She's Lupe. I love the new intro. <laughs> Your kids are too cute. The plant swap looked very successful. I hope to find one near me. How often do you go to plant swaps? Uh, me personally, I only go when I have the time, the free time. 
uh, when when we started doing when we started organizing the plant swaps sometime last year we would usually have them on a Saturday Saturdays are really good for me so when I'm free and I have some plants I would join in fact I joined the first few ones I think two or three swap meets but after that I've been so busy and they've been having the swaps mostly on on a Sunday and on other parts of Melbourne so I I don't get to go. I think this one, the, the swap meet that you just saw, uh, this is almost a year since my last since my last attendance. So yeah, it's been quite a while. As for the group itself, we we usually have swap meets organized at least once or twice every quarter. This is not something that the, the admins only organize. This is something that uh, the members themselves they would, uh, they would ask us within the group saying if anyone would be interested in a swap meet in this area or that area. And if enough people responded, the admins would help secure a location. The locals would first scout potential locations, then the admin would help secure that spot, you know, by contacting the relevant authorities or something. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you could imagine the logistics behind this, so if you could imagine the logistics behind it, it means that there needs some time to prepare but I guess during peak seasons like spring or maybe autumn maybe spring through autumn then maybe the most the, the most frequent that you would have it would be at least once a month or once every two months so yeah something about that range from succulent fame I did I noticed that your new baby Nikki is that her name yes is getting bigger Another cute one, I'm sure. I totally enjoyed watching all interesting things that people brought to the swap meet. Succulents and all. I saw strawberries and brownies too. Nice video. <laughs> yeah, thanks Sheila. Um, we encourage people to join, even the newbies, especially if they don't have their own plans to send yet. So they would have to be creative. They would have to bring something else to the swap. and. Food is always welcome. From Rudy's Succulent Obsession, I would love to find a succulent swap in my area. This is such a great idea and a nice way to bring the plant community together. Love this. Everyone looks so excited and nice. Thanks for sharing. Swap meets are the best. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice to hang around with people who are as obsessed as you with this sort of plant. So, you know, it's that feeling like you've been holding holding your breath for so long and you finally get to breathe I think it's the same speaking of breath from Cathy Girl Breath <laughs> loving the new intro and your new plants look like a fun swap meet thanks for sharing yes it was definitely fun from Karen Lottering well that looks fun haha <laughs> I should arrange a swap meet and just maybe I can get these last few echeveres I am in need of watching this makes me want to do another meetup hey definitely do it and if you have photos or videos about it maybe you could share with me from alex nearly 7000 you caught me up and will overtake me soon <laughs> nah you're still leading man from twice his life wow it's so nice sir yes it's definitely nice it's it's so fun it's definitely worth your weekend from monolop at least they had a great time ah, ha, ha. nice video especially knowing that they are so generous yeah i think i think lots of collectors are generous especially uh, those with large collections and the thing is it's a common sentiment here that uh, it's not unheard of that people get some of their plants stolen but and if you ask them they would always say that uh, if only that person who stole their plants uh, asked for permission they would gladly give off some some of their plants you know so yeah, I think people in general are kind as long as you put it in the proper setting. So the succulent swap meet is one of those settings from Olga's Dreamland. Hi Chuck, awesome swap. The one you don't know what it is is called Sidum Dendroidium. It makes yellow flowers like stars. So thank you so much Olga. Thank you for confirming the ID and I think I agree that this is the right ID. From Zanizana66. Woohoo! Season 2 and we didn't even have to wait a year or two for the second season. <laughs> Unlike Game of Thrones or Westworld. Man, I'd love you to come and help me design our yard. AKA, do all the hard bits and leave me to plant the succulents. Hmm. Tempting offer. <laughs> I don't know how to read your name, so I won't even try. 
Anyway, joy, peace, smiling faces, sharing small things and a beautiful sunny day. I just wanted to be there. This is such a beautiful message. Yeah. From Sherman Soberon. Pure succulent heaven. Time to look for swap meets around here. Yeah, you should definitely do that. And if you do, take photos or videos and share them with me, please. <laughs> From Given to Grow. I just love seeing people sharing like this. It's heartwarming. I didn't notice the intro. <laughs> Need to rewind and watch that. And uh, you have your daughter in it now as well. A great new intro. Denise, I forgive you for skipping the intro the first time around since you went back and looked at it and to prove it, you saw my daughter there. So yeah, <laughs> you are forgiven. From Sheena Cloton, this was absolutely beautiful. Your swap makes me want to visit Melbourne. Hey. <laughs> If you do your own swaps there, you do not have to visit Melbourne. I'm pretty sure there are lots of people with the same mind as you. Maybe just inform them, let them be aware that something like this can be done. And if they couldn't visualize, you could always show them that succulent swap meet video. So yeah, and let me know how it goes. From Susan Yu. Oh, now you have two beautiful kids. First video I've seen before was the little boy only. Lovely garden, yes. Uh, my daughter was born on December, so uh, she's turning 10 months in the first week of October. Wow, time flies. From Eileen Conforti. Wow, I wish I lived in Melbourne and enjoyed this awesome event. Yeah, like I've been telling the others, you don't have to be in Melbourne to do this. So I'm pretty sure if you get enough people interested in this, you could create your own swap meets. It doesn't have to be this big. You could have a swap meet with even just three three or four people you know that would be enough i guess or if you can't organize something that big you could always start with a you could always sow the seeds so to speak just start with private swaps just one-on-one -on -one and keep doing with, with more people just to get them familiar with the idea of swapping and once you have enough people doing swaps then you could generate enough interest to create a swap meet and of course if you do this please send me photos or videos about it i really want to create a compilation of everyone else's swap meets and that's it for the recap we've seen comments from the last episode i'm hoping to be able to finish filming the next episode today i've already gotten a few clips but half of it is still unfinished i haven't finished the story yet it may or may not come out in its usual time slot if it doesn't come out then it expect it to be out a day later and here's a sneak peek of what the next episode is about and that's it for the recap hit the like button subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're on youtube and if you're on facebook hit the thumbs up hit the like button or follow my page and if you could share the word please share this video with friends who might be interested in my content so that would be really huge help i'll see you in the next episode bye